Hello guys, good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padawa and we're back to our usual tropical weather analysis for today, November 19 to 21st, 2024. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakili Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. So let's begin with our update. Uh, we already ended the coverage on uh, Typhoon Manyi with local name uh, Pepito. And it's now a dying system over the uh, South China Sea. As you can see here, there's no longer uh, any uh, upper level circulation, just a low level one. And we will going to show it to you in a while. And look at the Philippine Sea all across the Western Pacific, Micronesia, up to the Marshall Islands. It's very quiet. No tropical systems forming for the next one week. And uh, we are happy to uh, uh, bring you this. Okay, since uh, after 10 days of four or quadruple typhoons, it's really, uh, we are having some hard time to... Uh, cope up and uh, rise up again but I'm sure we Filipinos are resilient enough and we are going to rise back okay and uh, for the latest now on the zoom in satellite animation this is for the Philippine Islands there you go this is now the remnants of uh, tropical depression Manyi and it's already uh, weakening rapidly and it's likely tonight or tomorrow morning, it's just a low pressure system drifting to the southwest towards the coastal waters of uh, Hainan and uh, Vietnam. And across the Philippine Islands, there are still multiple or very small thunderstorms affecting Visayas and Mindanao, Palawan as well. While across the, Luz uh, while across the Luzon area, it's going to be uh, calm, dry, sunny with uh, some fresh winds from the east and northeast those are trade winds and uh, if we take a look now at the uh, final asian agency's tracks on uh, manji so there you go it's just three left okay uh, the rest is uh, dissipating while here when we check on the latest easterlowwave.com ensemble from the european model it's all clean, okay? No uh, uh, circles or lines which suggest another cyclone developing. And you can see here it's uh, very, uh, it's, uh, it only produces some few lines, but nothing to worry about for the next uh, seven to maybe up to 10 days. And here's the, uh, Wind and pressure forecast from the ECMWF. Here's the storm. Amani dying. And uh, tomorrow and Thursday, we have the Northeast Monsoon over Taiwan, Taiwan Strait, and moving into the Batanes. Usually during November, the first uh, blast of the monsoon are concentrated, is concentrated over extreme northern and northern Luzon, some parts of eastern Luzon as well but uh, it will just be there and as we enter into december that will move down across some parts of eastern Luzon and eastern visayas you can see here we have already some northeasterly surface wind flow from uh, uh, northern Luzon down to eastern mindanao and the uh, strong monsoon is over here our Batanis moving Gulf Islands and on Monday it will again weaken back to East Tolis. and on Wednesday up to uh, Thursday next week November 27 to 28 we have another blast of the Northeast Monsoon across extreme northern zone while Northeast wind flow 
along the rest of the eastern sections of Luzon, including Bicol region and eastern Visayas. Mostly, these are all easterlies to northeasterly trade winds, and uh, that's the uh, European model. While the American model is showing uh, some kind of a uh, vortex here or low pressure system between November 27 to 28. Okay, this is likely a low pressure system and uh, this will uh, enhance the northeast monsoon to uh, move towards this area of uh, low pressure system and bring some cooler weather across the eastern sections of northern central and southern Luzon, including Bicol region. So that's from the American model. As we speak right now, the American model is always uh, low in probability if more than uh, 5 days up to 14 days so no need to worry there are uh, some uh, showing some there are some signs from the American model that shows a cyclone developing here but that's more than 10 days so that's around 0 to uh, 10 or 20 percent probability so don't worry we are waiting for the other models to uh, develop, okay? Once uh, most of the models uh, develops this uh, weather system, then we will go to monitor that. But right now, no need to be alarmed, no need to panic. There's no system for the next uh, seven days, okay? But uh, I'm always here to bring you the very latest three times a week. And you'll know if there's a system uh, coming by or, again, that may cause a threat to our country. And for the 24-hour uh, rainfall accumulation for the next three days, tomorrow is going to be fine. Okay. Thursday as well. And until Friday. Except for some showers here over Mindanao, particularly the eastern sections of Carriga. The rest will remain dry, breezy, and slightly cooler temperatures as we enter the month of December. As well as the latest on the wave forecast, tomorrow, Wednesday, the northeasterly trade winds are generating some wave heights of up to uh, uh, 2 meters. So it's going to be light to moderate. But uh, if you have uh, large uh, sea vessels, it's going to be okay. So uh, here, over the uh, central portions of the Philippines, the uh, ocean, uh, I mean the seas, will be light. Okay, calm to light, nothing to worry about. But here, we still have the blast of the northeast monsoon over the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea. So we expect some wave heights up to 3 meters here to the west of uh, Ilocos provinces. So that will persist through Friday. And uh, Friday, it's going to be uh, light to moderate still over the East Philippine Sea, over the central waters of the Philippine Island, uh, over the central waters of uh, the Philippines, across Visayas and Mimaropa. It will be light okay come to light as well here over the west philippine sea suitable for fishing and sea travel now let's take a look at the latest on la nina how is it how is the uh, intensity of this next la nina well the latest now as of november 14 well the latest now as of november 14 we have still a la nina watch not yet a warning if the uh, La Nina uh, uh, watch becomes uh, La Nina advisory, then La Nina is uh, ongoing. So right now, it's likely to emerge between October to December with 57% chance. That's a little more higher on the medium chance. So it may develop into a light uh, La Nina based on uh, the forecast and it may persist through January to March 2025 and uh, here's uh, some patches of cooler sea surface temperature a sign that we might be having some uh, slight La Nina 
and uh, here's the uh, uh, model predictions so if we reach a negative one if the trend will be uh, more than uh, negative 0 0.0 so that's negative 1.5 then we might be having a slight La Nina but right now it looks like we have uh, uh, above average uh, neutral conditions so we'll wait and see as we enter December so this is the forecast for uh, November 2024 now this month of November uh, it's now 57% uh, La Nina and then by December it will uh, reach around uh, 73 uh, percent so most likely we'll be having uh, a slight or weak La Nina beginning December until uh, February or March 2025 so we will be having some um, above average rainfall across the Philippine Islands but not too much still some uh, good weather will be expected in between this rainfall and hopefully there will be no tropical cyclone formation this december but there are hints of uh, tropical cyclone formation usually this during december we expect one to two tropical cyclones to form and if we have a slight uh, la nina most likely it will be over the philippine sea or over the uh, visayan sea and up to the west philippine sea and uh, it may pose a threat to uh, Vietnam so that's the scenario when we have this uh, slight uh, La Nina and uh, there will be uh, rainfall in uh, most of parts of the country uh, more than the average because of this uh, slight La Nina and uh, we will observe that as well as we move into December up to March next month we'll be uh, having another update so we shall see if this uh, slight La Nina will uh, push through or not. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest from our uh, English update of uh, the weather situation across the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific. Again, we are all clear as uh, we enter the last uh, week of November. Uh, no tropical cyclone formation expected and uh, there's only one model that says between december 1 to 4 but don't worry because the european model doesn't say so okay see you again in the next couple of days thank you for watching god bless to all